Welcome back, everyone. Hope you all had a fantastic hump day. Great third day to the work week. You're almost there, so hopefully we can all make it to the weekend. Let's go ahead and take a look now as we look at the RV world of Yuma Skycam. Overall, some partly cloudy skies today. Not as much haze as we've seen the past few days, but overall very hot conditions. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our satellite and radar and see what kind of activity we're seeing in this portion of the country. Good amount of activity just south of Phoenix and west of Tucson there, but as we zoom into the desert southwest, you can see that some of that activity is kind of starting to make its way over here a little bit. You're going to notice a lot of white cells making their way over, and that's going to lead to a little bit of cloud cover this evening. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our future cast and see where some activity could be making its way across the country. Definitely well over through Arizona and going up north. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our satellite and radar to get a greater view of what's going on across the country. Again, heavy activity where we're at along with some pretty severe storms over there in the south. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our current wind speed. You can see that we're feeling pretty breezy right now throughout the desert southwest. And as we take a look at our future winds, those calm conditions are pretty much going to remain as we go throughout our day on Thursday. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our air quality index presented to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Moderate conditions all across the valley, so definitely something to look out for there. A look now at our current temperatures. We begin in the Imperial Valley. Just under 100 degrees over in Imperial and Holtville, and as we jump across the state and county line into Yuma, still feeling the heat quite a bit, but just under 100 at 98 in Yuma. Let's go ahead and take a look now at today's viewer weather photo. This coming to us from Carl Cruzius, thinking of us eight hours away over in Monument Valley. Great shot of the clouds there overlooking the canyons and the nice little sun in the background. And hey, if you have a photo that you'd like to share with us, feel free to pull out your phone. You can go ahead and scan this QR code that's going to take you right to our homepage where you can drop those photos off. So hopefully we can get them featured here on the newscast. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our seven-day forecast for Yuma. 110 degrees tomorrow. Some cloud cover beginning on Friday. That may last throughout the weekend. And speaking of the weekend, a chance for some potential thunderstorms, about 20%. So Definitely could be something to look out for there. And as we take a look now at our seven-day forecast for the Imperial Valley, just a tad hotter, 114 tomorrow, 115 on Friday before we reach a high of 116 degrees on Saturday. Now, this could lead to a potential heat advisory, so that's definitely something to keep an eye out for. As always, if you find yourself out and about, always be sure you're drinking that water, putting on that sunscreen. Really, overall, just staying indoors if you can doing whatever you can to keep yourself safe and healthy.